Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Joni Young and today I'm showing you step-by-step -step exactly how to paint this Christmas tree in an old fashioned sled. So stay tuned. All right, let's jump right in and get started. We're working on a 12 by 16 white primed canvas. I've got a large round chalk brush. You can use any brush that you want to blend for your background. This is a three inch round chalk brush, just in case you guys are curious. And I'm gonna be starting off my painting with gray. If you don't have gray, just mix black and white together until you get a gray tone that you want. This is just a, a medium tone of gray. I don't wanna to go too, too dark or too light. I want the moon to show up and the trees as well. So I'm just gonna evenly blend all that paint around, leaving the bottom portion of the canvas just white. And then I'll come in with some soft shadows. So I'm going to take a little bit of white now without even washing my brush off so that I've got a little bit of that gray left in my brush and we'll create some really soft looking subtle shadows down here and I'm letting my brush be a little bit wavy kind of going up and down ripply kind of looking just to get some soft slopes to uh, all the snow down below. I'm going to soften up the sky doing the same technique and I'm gonna start creating some light little clouds, and then a giant moon. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a filbert brush ready on hand for the next step, but before we begin that, we're gonna just dry this off quickly. It'll just take a couple moments, and then we'll get started on the next step. Okay, all dry, we're ready for our next step, which is painting this big, big moon. And I'm just using my filbert brush and taking titanium white, and I'm gonna do a light, thin layer first. Get a nice round shape. Don't worry if it's a little bit lopsided or a little bumpy looking, that's totally okay. We're gonna have lots of trees, and we're even gonna make it look like it's snowing by spraying with an old toothbrush and white paint as well. So that'll kind of just camouflage any imperfections that you might have. So I'm gonna start dragging my paintbrush around outside of the moon and creating some soft looking clouds. And I'm gonna make them a little bit whimsical and flowy and have lots of curves and, and swirls in them. I'll go over the inside now with more white, making it a little bit brighter. And then I'm just gonna take my brush over and start to swirl going up and down and kind of just being shaky with my brush, making little bumps for the puffy tops of the clouds. Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm going to continue with these little clouds, sweepy looking clouds. They're transparent, and if you're having trouble getting the transparency, you are probably using too much paint. So you'll want to have a little bit more water in your brush than normal. Now, if your brush is dripping on the canvas, then you definitely have too much. Um, and you can also add a little bit of gray to your white. That will help too. I'm gonna to switch to a fan brush now, and I'm gonna take my red. I've got crimson red. Um, you can use any red you want, um, and I've got sap green as well, so I'm gonna mix the two. Now the reason why I chose to mix these two colors together for my dark base for my trees is because they're complementary colors, and I know that they're gonna look good together. And I'm gonna just push and pull and turn my brush over to load it evenly into a little bit of white. So I'm going to just kind of go over the line right here where we're going to start the base of our trees and I'm going to press gently and pull up and flick for an instant forest. I'll gradually start coming in with singular trees that are going to be more towards the foreground just by pulling my brush the other way to create skinny lines for those tree trunks. Now try to keep in mind it's more interesting in a painting if you have different heights to your trees and you have this slope down below. It just makes it a lot more interesting and um, overall nicer to look at. So I'm going to take those two colors again, my red and my sap green, but I'm going to use a filbert brush this time. I find using a filbert brush to create branches on trees gives me a little bit more control than um, using a fan brush. So again, I'm taking those colors. It's a little bit slightly watered down and I've got it um, in with a little bit of that white too, just because these are in the background and we don't want these in full contrast and uh, really, really in focus because it's going to be in um, competition with a sleigh that we have in the foreground. So you want to choose one part of your painting to be the focal point. And in this case, in this painting, it's going to be this old fashioned sled with a tree. So I'm going to just do one tree at a time here for you guys. Really, really easy. I love the filbert brush. Um, another brush that you could use is a cat's tongue brush. And um, believe it or not, um, I'm just brand new to learning all about the cat's tongue brush this year. And I've been painting for many, many years. Um, it's one of my favorite brushes. And if you've been watching me and following me for the past two months, you'll probably notice me using it quite a bit. And um, especially in the painting tutorial I did yesterday I did a giant moth a really pretty looking moth with lots of colors and I used the cat's tongue brush for um, almost the entire painting um, if you haven't seen that one yet I'll leave a link below in case you guys want to go check that out but here I am just continuing along with my trees I'm just doing little taps along the top for those baby little branches and then I'm just going to keep tapping side to side making the trees slightly wider as they get down to the bottom All right, we've got a nice base for our trees now, and we're just gonna take a few minutes to dry this off. Um, it's important to do this, otherwise it's gonna be really hard for you to add your snow and have it show up, and it might get frustrating, and you might have to keep going back to it, adding more and more paint, and that's never fun. So <laughs> let's just make this easier for ourselves by uh, taking a hair dryer and just drying it off really quickly. I'm gonna continue using my filbert brush, and this is, I haven't told you guys the size of this brush. Um, it's either a six or an eight. You're gonna want a decent size filbert brush for your trees, depending on the size of canvas you're working on, of course. If you've got a smaller canvas, then you'll go for a smaller brush. And I'm just pushing my brush onto the, the branches, tapping and leaving that white on there. I don't wanna go over anything too much. If you tap in one spot too many times, you're gonna lose that effect. So it's best to just apply that paint once, leave it and move on to the next part. Now, when I load my brush, I'm pushing gently and almost fanning, like I, I push and almost fan my brush out as I'm loading it and pushing it into the white paint. Um, this just helps to get a better shape to my branches. It just makes it a little bit more even. I'm going to pull my brush lightly at the base with the leftover uh, paint in my brush after, just to soften and add a little bit more um, light and shadow down below.
So I'm just going to continue adding all the snow to my branches and all these trees. I'll add a little bit more white inside of my moon in a few minutes. And then we're going to move on to the next step after this. And it's going to be um, adding some snow. We'll be using an old toothbrush. Um, some artists use the toothbrush method and some artists just use um, a little stipple brush or some kind of brush that you can just sort of flick and make the little snow sprays using your finger. It's kind of the same technique. Um, I like the finer looking um, spray. I like the, the way it um, goes on a little bit more evenly with a toothbrush. That's just me. I think both of them work just fine. Um, and then we're going to start working on the sleigh. If you guys have any questions or want to connect with me one on one, if you have a special request, something that you'd like to see me paint or something in particular that you'd like to learn, um, you can head over to Patreon and become a member for as little as five dollars a month. Um, that'll give you early access and extra videos, um, a chance to win a painting. I'm doing a monthly draw now, so all my patrons are. Um, it's for patrons only and you can be entered to win an original painting of mine at the end of each month So I'll leave a link down below for that for you guys and Move on to the rest of these trees. I'm just gonna add one here that doesn't even exist I'm just gonna make this one white now you can also do this if your background is dark enough you can just go right in and add white over top of the gray background without adding the dark green and red underneath first Okay, so finishing up the base of this tree, I'm going to wash my brush, add a little bit more to my moon, then I'm going to wash my brush, and I'm going to switch over to my toothbrush. So here we go, got a toothbrush here, I'm going to show you guys, because I never, sh I always miss this part, I'm just going to dunk it right in, so you want a lot of water on your brush for this, and then you want to just stir it around in your white paint or whatever color that you want your snow to be and I also use this technique for creating stars so if you want to have like a bunch of stars in your sky um, it's great to create those instant stars or snowflakes in this case so I'm going to do this a few times you can do it as many times as you want depending on how much of a, a snowy scene that you want to have and then I'm going to dry this off again so a couple minutes and then I'm going to go back to my filbert brush. And I'm going to take my two colors again, my green and my red. Blend the two together to get that nice, deep, dark, rich color. And this is going to be what I'm going to use to outline the shape of my sleigh. And I'm also going to use this for the darker shadow areas. And I just picked a sleigh to paint from that was going to be the easiest and simplest for all you beginners out there. So no matter what skill level you're at, you can all follow along and paint this easily. And 
And what, what's also great about this um, painting in particular is that if you do have any imperfections on your sleigh, something that you're not happy with, um, what you can do is add some lights. Like we're going to add some lights at the end of this uh, video, more towards the end of the video. And it's also in a, a snow scene, so there's going to be little bits of snow everywhere on the bottom part of the sleigh and around the top. So little things like that can really um, help to camouflage and hide all your little mistakes or imperfections that you just really don't know <laughs> what else to do with. That's why I love to paint snow scenes because they're very forgiving. Snow is really messy, so it's just a lot of fun to paint. It's one of my favorite things to paint actually are snow scenes. So we'll just cut along the bottom here and then I'm going to fill the rest in with my red only and then later on I'm going to come in with uh, one of my really bright reds. It's a neon. It's a luminous neon. It's from the Holbein brand. It's a really nice one. It's very thick. So I'm going to fill this little scoop up here with my dark, dark color, the green and the red. I'm just going to scumble in, just get this all covered up here. We're not going to see this. It's just a base for our tree, so you don't have to worry about it not looking perfect. We just need a base color in here. And then I'm going to go and add a few little lines. Really simple. We'll just outline here with a dark color again just to find the outside shape a little bit more, clean it up a little bit. Cut across right there where it's gonna go in and there's gonna be a shadow. This is gonna make the sleigh look like it pops out in the front and has that swerve and curve to it. Alright, so I'm going to come in here on the left, I'm going to pull slightly on an angle, a line across, and then three lines down. Going over to my small round brush, and you can also use a liner brush if you want. I'm going to take those two colors again, I'm going to have a little bit of water on my brush to help that paint flow. And we'll start working on the little skis on the bottom. And again, don't stress out too much about this part, you guys, because it's in the snow. They don't have to look perfect. Um, and if you're really not happy with yours, you can just kind of camouflage them, like I said earlier, by adding a little bit of snow. We're going to have some festive little glowing lights on them as well. And that all helps to distract from anything that you're not happy with in your painting. Okay, so I hope you guys are following along easily. Just take it really slow, stop, rewind if you need to. You can also slow the video down if you're watching it from desktop. Um, you guys can all do this. And if you have any questions, just let me know. So I'm gonna make these ones a little bit thicker. And the reason is because they're kind of coming towards us, so they're closer to us. And I also wanna go over part of them with some snow. So I want that to really show up and I need that extra thickness there with a dark color for it to come out nicely after I decide to add the snow and a few little lights as well.
Okay, so we're gonna go and jump right in with our neon red now. This is my favorite part, of course. You guys know I'd love to use all my bright, happy colors. And this is from the Whole Bean brand, a really nice brand. Um, I just, I'm not affiliate with them. They're not sponsoring me. I just like to share things with you guys that I really like. And you're always asking what paints I use. So um, there you go. And you can get those in um, a few different colors. I've got all of them. And I'm gonna come in between those lines with that neon red and I've also got a little bit of my scarlet red as well and like I said earlier you can use any red that you have crimson uh, vermilion cadmium you name it guys any red's gonna look great on this sleigh so I'm adding this where I want it to be the brightest and where I want to have the light hitting it. So we're gonna still keep those darker areas for the shadows. Right, and I'm going to finish this layer up and then I'm going to take my handy hair dryer again and dry this off once more. Then we're going to begin working on the big Christmas tree. Now if you guys are having fun painting Christmas scenes lately, leave a comment below. Let me know what you're working on right now or what you plan to be painting or if you've been following along to any of my winter and Christmas theme tutorials going to switch over to another fan brush. I'm gonna pull and turn to load my brush evenly with the red and the green. I'm gonna apply the first layer of this tree with this dark color first. This will give us a nice contrast. This tree is gonna stand out um, from all the other ones because it's closer to us, it's gonna have like I said, more detail and more contrast and just be uh, deeper in its shadows. I'm going to use a few other colors. I'm going to make this one have more of a blue spruce um, tone and tinge to it that I really, really love. I'll be using some phthalo blue for that. And I'm just taking the corner of my brush and applying the smaller branches that go up to the top. I'm going to make this a little bit fuller because it's a really, really big Christmas tree and it's gonna fill up this entire sled so much that it's kind of just spilling out the side there. Okay, I'm gonna take another couple minutes to quickly dry this layer off in order for my next layer to really um, be able to layer on there nicely and not get all mixed in with that other color. So just a couple minutes for this and then we're gonna switch over to phthalo blue and I chose phthalo blue because it's got that a beautiful greenish um, a tone to it that I love. It's going to look so nice with the red and I'm going to use my filbert brush now so, can I have, so that I can have a little bit more control uh, painting my branches and get a little bit better shape. So I've got my sap green, phthalo blue, a little bit of titanium white and you can see what a pretty color that makes. So I'm just going to start tapping side to side, pushing and layering over top of that red and green base that we have. Um, and the colors really pop and they look so nice together because they're complementary. And I can't say this enough, I go over this a lot, but it's really important to know what colors work well together. Uh, it's gonna make your paintings stand out and you'll just wanna look at them more because they're pleasing to the eye. Okay, so that's the second coat. And then what I'm gonna do is build up to my lightest shade by adding more and more white to my brush. I might pick up a little bit more of my sap green along the way 
just so that my tree doesn't start looking completely blue I want to have that little bit of green going on in there at the same time so I'm going to continue to do this just building up highlights and giving it a frosty look and then I'm going to add a few areas with little bits of snow and then we'll come in with our lights and just continue along building this lovely winter landscape up So guys, I'm going to switch over to a round brush now, and this is uh, what I'm going to be using to create a little bit more details on some of the branches, and I'm going to take more white with a little bit of green. You can, I've still got a little bit of that blue in there, um, so we're going to just tap a few times, turning our brush. So push and tap, turn your brush, push and tap, and this will just make our tree uh, look a little bit more 3D bringing those brightest snow covered layers out to the top in the foreground and then you get that depth right So now I'm going in and just picking up scoops of my titanium white so it's really thick and I'm just going to apply it and then leave it. I'm not going to blend over blend too much. I'm just going to add that paint and then leave it and move on to the next spot. So I'm going to do this on a few of the branches just adding a little little bits of snow here and there and then I'm going to come in and start adding um, some snow on all the sides of the sleigh and on the little uh, skis down below. So right here, we're just gonna pull and then I'm gonna tap. I, to make it look like snow, you just kinda wanna gently tap it on there. The idea is to make it look uneven, so you don't want it to look perfect because where the snow rests after it's fallen on an object, it's, it's not the same everywhere, right? It's not gonna be even. So if you're kind of shaky, um, it's going to be even better. It's going to look a little bit messy. And don't worry about messy. It's supposed to look like that. And I'll just add a little bit down below for some more highlights. And I'm just going to continue around this side of the sleigh with a thin layer of white. Just a little bit here and then I'll go along the bottom and add a little bit to all these lines that we have down here. I'm just going to do this for a few minutes guys. And then when we're finished this, I'm going to show you exactly how to paint the lights.
Okay, so it's time to start painting our lights. And all I'm gonna do with my little round brush is take some of my luminous yellow. And if you don't have this shade, it's my, one of my neons. Um, you can just take a light, a warm yellow, any warm yellow that you have, um, or light, light orange. And I'm taking my white with it, mixing the two. I've got quite a bit of paint on the tip of my brush and I'm just gonna apply a little uh, little dabs of this, little circles, little balls of it, wherever I want my lights to be. And then I'm gonna do a little soft um, blending around the outside to give it that glowing and shining kind of a look to it. I'll also be adding a little bit more of my luminous yellow where I want the color to be a little bit more saturated and warm and kind of have it sh like it's shining and reflecting on the front part of the sled. So you'll see in a few minutes what I mean. I'm also going to be taking, um, so right here, yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of my luminous yellow, mixing it in slightly to a little bit of the neon red. You don't have to do this. You can just keep your lights uh, the same color as before. I just wanted to try adding a little bit more color in here, and a pastel uh, peachy color. And then I also decided to add some lights to the tree. I wasn't going to at first, but I thought it would just look so pretty and fun. And I'm really glad that I did. I love the way those twinkling lights look in the tree after. So these are gonna be smaller. I don't want them to be as big as the lights on the sleigh. And again, I'm just using my titanium white and my luminous yellow for this. I'm even gonna add a star on the top of the tree as well. And then I'm gonna go over the moon with another fresh coat of white, just in the center. So for the star, I'm using white and luminous yellow again. I'm gonna do a little, a little dot right there and then I'm gonna pull and flick from the center little lines, making them look really wispy. So this gives it a twinkling glow to the top of our tree. I'll then take a little bit more of my luminous yellow. I'm gonna dry this off first and then I'll start working on the next step. Okay, so what we want to do with our lights now is give them that soft, almost fuzzy kind of a warm glow. And you just want to have sort of a dry brush to work with. You don't want to have a lot of paint on your brush. So this, the littlest amount of brush or of paint on your brush and no water at all. And this will just give you that airbrushed look, let, make your lights look like they're really kind of soft and glowing. And then we're going to start adding a little bit more color to some of these lights. I think I'm going to add a little bit of blue and I'm going to add a little bit of my neon red by mixing it with white and we'll get a very pretty um, pinky tone to some of them. I'm not going to go overboard with too much color in this one. I just really love this old fashioned uh, vintage retro feel that we've got like a Christmas card um, where there's more muted tones and just the red that that bright bright festive red really stands out.
Okay, so I'm gonna start adding my pink right now. And again, I just took my neon red and mixed it with my titanium white. So it's just a little indication of a bit of color in there. Nothing too, too uh, bright or bold. I want the sled, like I said earlier, to be the focal point. And then I'm gonna take a clean brush with white and phthalo blue and add just a little hint of that here and there on the tree and on our shadow areas. So just a little bit, a little goes a long way. I'm gonna add a little bit of this down below. Very subtle, like you hardly know it's there. Just a touch of this light watered down blue, scumbling it in the bottom on the snow for some shadows. And then what I'm gonna do is I wanna set those trees in the background even farther back. I want them to be out of focus, really. I want them to look a little bit more blurry. And so I'm gonna do a dry brush right here, dry brush. I get the paint on my brush and then I kind of wipe it off on my palette and you have to make sure that your paint underneath is completely dry before doing this so you're just going to do this dry brush of thinned out white over top of those trees now you don't have to do this but I really um, recommend this if you really want your foreground to stand out and be more in focus and not compete with everything else it just also creates a really nice soft mood um, and atmosphere. So there's something that not a lot of artists tell you and go over in tutorials. This is just something that um, I thought you guys might not know and I like to talk about this in all of my videos. I think it's a really really important um, way to learn how to paint and especially if you're a landscape artist. So this painting is just about all done. I'm going to add the finishing touches here and there, just adding a little bit more white to my lights. Um, another color that I'm going to be adding, and I wasn't originally going to do this, I decided I wanted to add a little bit of yellow. So I've got a warm, luminous yellow that I originally used, right? I'm also going to use a cool, luminous yellow now. It's like highlighter yellow. So that combined, and you'll see in just a few minutes how pretty it's going to look on these lights. So we're not going to cover up that peachy glow that we have. We're just going to enhance it by adding a little twinkling light with that luminous yellow cool mixed with, so here we go. I'm going to show you what it is. And this is from the whole bean brand as well. So I'm going to mix titanium white to soften that just so that we get that lemon chiffon color. And I'm going to dab each one of my lights with this. And I love, love, love this. This is just the finishing touch to this painting. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this today and that you decide to paint along. It's a really fun one. I know you're going to love. I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye.